I did maths, further maths, biology and chemistry, and an EPQ, three A stars, and then an A star, an EPQ, and then a C. Um, I did biology, chemistry, and psychology, and an EPQ, and I got uh, three A's and an A star. So I did English literature, history, and Latin, and I got three A stars and an A star on the EPQ as well. I'm really happy with them, yeah. yeah. I'm um, planning on reapplying to medical school and I've got the grades I need to do that. Very relieved. Excited. It's nice that everything has gone out as I probably should have. Obviously, the, I didn't have the stress of the exams, which is something I was grateful for. But ultimately, you lose the chance to kind of prove yourself. And so further maths, I got a C in that. And I know I could have done better on the day. Yeah, it's, it's been quite stressful because obviously we prepared so much to do our exams and then we didn't get to do them in the end, but at this point I'm just glad that it's finished and out the way. I just think that though we had not an ideal circumstance, the fact that we were able to email our teachers at any point and talk to them was kind of what did the most for me. I think they were just very thorough with trying to keep in contact with us and checking up on us. Mr Chadwick, my Latin teacher, was absolutely superb throughout all of lockdown with marking my Greek work and just going beyond the curriculum. It was wonderful. I'm um, reapplying next year to do medicine and hopefully I'll get into uni next year. So I haven't applied for anything this year because I'm not sure what I want to do yet but I will be applying in the near future. I am, I'm off to Oxford to study classics and I'm excited and a bit nervous. I think meeting new people. I would like to go and do some travel if I can, but I don't know how feasible that's going to be with travel restrictions. Oh, that's a good question. I think sort of, sort of the more independence is going to be nice. In academic work, A-levels have been fun, but I'm, I think I'm ready just for a slightly bigger challenge. I think that at Freeman's, though we've had all the excellent academic support, um, all the extracurriculars and the opportunity to develop your social skills and keep fit are really what make the difference in the long run. I think it's, it's just such a, you're trained to be professional and to behave in a professional way and I think that really prepares you for professional life as an adult. I think it's trying to make us into independent learners and the library has so many resources which you can use and to widen your reading and just become yeah. um, better around an adult. So. I think the community we have, because I'm able to name every single person in my year group, that's not going to be the case at university. You don't miss that bit. You always miss people and obviously the teachers. I think just it's been a very nice environment to sort of grow up in the last seven years. Sixth form has been great. It's just so many people and you make so many new friends. Um, but I've always loved school, I've always loved learning. I'm a little nerd. I think all of it's been a highlight in a way. It's very hard for me to pick out individual moments because I've enjoyed most of it. I think for me it's been managing my time to make sure that I have enough time for me to relax. I think it's important that everyone learns to schedule that in. I think trying to sort of be well rounded and not just focus on the academics and do other things. Make sure you have the time you need to relax and to de-stress de because with that your, your performance will improve. I think they just have to find ways to kind of calm down. I'm, very, I'm quite an anxious person so obviously that's not my strong suit but I think it is really important. Just read, read and read and read and read. Use a library, read beyond your subject, read for fun, read fiction. The more you read the better you'll find it in the humanities.